So first, uh, try to log into the machine. Are you able to do that now? Yeah. Okay. Now then you right click, right? Say open terminal, right? So this one will bring you to a terminal, okay? I'm using a different ma machine from yours than yours, but uh, it's okay. So first of all, um, to be good in TCAT, you want to learn some basic Linux. Have you learned Linux before? This one, Linux. I haven't, uh, I'm not that familiar with it, but I'm okay. just uh, logging onto the computer right now. Right, so this is useful for you. So uh, for your career also, your know, resume, right? So uh, when you have time, go, just Google to learn a little bit. It's not difficult. So there are different shell. Uh, we are going to use TC shell, T, uh, I mean, T, what was it? TSCH, just type TSCH. No, TC shell, sorry, TC. Okay, so if you type TC shell, then you go into a shell, it has another uh, environment. So this environment t take different type of language. Right, so show is just like the door system in your Windows, right? You don't use Windows or you use uh, Mac OS, they have their own operating system. This is not exactly the same operating system concept. Linux is an operating system, but we go to the shell. So in this case, and I ask you to copy my file, right? Can you type source tcat local.csh? Like this one, and stop me anytime, right? I since we only have two two people, I want both of you able to follow closely. So do not think that you are affecting the other. Just say, oh, I cannot follow. Uh, please stop. Okay. I type source so that I won't have to keep asking. Are you done with this step? Okay. Then you start as WB. Centaurus Workbench. Okay. So, oh, sorry. But on my digital like no search the file or directory when have I you, open the have you copied from my folder? CP. So I uh you can do this. Yeah, so I I, I got my uh so all, all of the instructions mm -hmm. that you sent the email with. Okay. Uh those are to be done on the terminal of this machine. Yeah. Okay. So uh, now uh, copy the file. To copy a file in, in Linux, you use CP. And then you tell it where is the uh, other file, right? And then tcat underscore local dot csh. And then space dot means the current directory. Okay. So you do this, then you will copy your to your current directory. Can you try that? Once you copy, then you source it again, right? To repeat the previous command you use, you can use arrow key, arrow up, arrow down, right? So I source this file again. Does it work? So we, we just put those two commands, right? CP and then the file and then local.csa. CP. CP this one. Yeah. And then source it. Okay. But I put the ID as same as yours. Yes, because you're copied from my directory. So this is my directory. So every user in Linux has a home directory. For you, you are slash home and then your user ID. For me, then slash home my user ID. And under this, my user ID, I has a file called tcat local csh. So when you say cp space, then it's going to take the full path and then space dot is going to copy to your current directory or folder. Does it work? One sec, one sec. Okay. 
Okay, I entered the first line and I'm entering the source. Mm -hmm. So once you copy, it means under your folder, you have this file already. That's why you can source it. Okay. So, okay, I did it. It says, um, it says no such file or directory. Uh, so for my, so missing destination file up upper and after okay are you okay to share your screen with us yeah uh, okay uh, nice. let me change it right just one of you share okay uh, can you see my screen yes it's loading yeah so here is a, what I have, I tried um, copy pasting the sync thing. Okay, yeah, and mm -hmm. one more thing. So here, actually, uh, is this font size too small to you? Are you okay with this? Uh, yeah, this, this, this is fine. Okay, now actually I forgot to uh, ask you to copy another file. Please copy also CP. Okay. Uh, you, you actually can use the arrow key. Can you use uh, arrow? Okay. Okay. Can you uh, use the uh, arrow key? Yeah. And then delete it. Delete the T cat. T cat? That, that space. Yeah. That save your typing, right? All the way to the whole file, T cat. Yeah. And then type set underscore license. Set. So one, yeah. The file that you say it is missing. Right, and then space, dot. Yeah, that will copy the file from my directory to your place also. Just enter. Okay, so enter that? Yeah. And then source one more time. Okay. Again, you can okay. use arrow key to save typing. Oh yeah. Yeah, just okay. arrow. You don't need to delete. You just type it, arrow, go up. Yes, enter. Enter. Yeah, so now it works. Does it work for you, Tuyen? Sorry. Um, so, uh, I'm doing uh, yeah, this. So after this, um, you have the one sec. Let me, you sent the email with the rest of the commands. Do we just type those as well? Yeah, can you type that command? Yeah. Uh, uh, Tuyen, okay. does that work, for, work with you? Uh, yeah, I'm calling. <coughs> so this this command? Yes. Okay. <coughs> SWB, I can read to you. S okay. Okay, good. Now, if you put ampersand, okay. Now, if you do this, right, it pop up a, 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 a binary, right? Then you can run. But then your terminal got occupied. If you go back to the terminal, you cannot, cannot do anything, right? Okay. Of course you can start another terminal, but just for your information, you can also make this as a so-called background drop. So if you run this command, right? Can you uh, close it, close the window? No, not this one, uh, SWB, yeah. Right, run it again, use arrow key, right? Go up, don't enter. And then type ampersand, shift seven. Okay, shift seven. Okay. Right, enter. Now, this becomes a background job. So you can have this window open and at the same time you can type on the terminal, right? You go back to terminal and type enter, you can continue to do many things. Enter. Enter. Yeah. It, oh. see, you can still continue, for example, to check the directory to copy or whatever. Just an extra knowledge for you about the uh, Linux, okay. okay? So now we will work on the SWB, but let's